What's going on and welcome to another How's About Thursday and we're going to get into some stories and advice section, design dilemma section of How's and go through some of your questions here in this episode. So we'll go to design dilemma and let's see if we can find something to talk about. Uh, brick cottage needs curb appeal, kids bathroom floor tile needs your opinion about half moon window bookcase suggestions these sink grids are killing me uh drawer life expense opinion but more will this backsplash work master bedroom remodel let's see what this master bedroom re remodel is about all right here we go master bedroom remodel angela smith this is a sketch of our master bath layout we are currently doing a total remodel on our house the current master closet is too small to be used practically so my plan is to expand the closet by a foot to allow walk space. Beyond this, I'm lost as to how best to use the space and be as inexpensive as possible. I'm removing a useless two foot by nine foot closet that opens to the bedroom. Thus the space between the upper wall and the current uh, plumbing. My goal is to put in a drop in tub, walk in shower, double sinks, toilet, and if, if possible, a small linen closet. The plumbing is not an issue to move. I'm just hoping someone can provide some insight and guidance. So let's see here. We've got master bedroom, master bedroom door here. No current door. We've got a current wall here. Move wall out 12 inches, master closet, current plumbing, 11 feet by 13 and a half and then dining room. So your master bedroom goes right off your dining room, maybe living room area. I don't know if there's any kind of separation there. It might be advisable given that to, um, let's see if we can take a screenshot, to create some kind of vestibule here. If you had some kind of cased opening and a cased opening with a door that you could block some of that entry into your master bedroom that might be good given that your dining room is here if you've got a table i don't know how this is set up but if you've got a table there do you want this view into your bedroom or do you want some kind of like arrival into that area there now it looks like it looks like you've got you're kind of laying out uh, let's see if i can erase this it looks like you're laying out your closet so you enter in through your closet and then come in to your bathroom like this arrangement so you're going to have um, about two feet of clothing uh, maybe something that turns like that so you're going to walk past all your clothes to get into your to your bathroom there um, i think if you're moving all your plumbing all that kind of stuff you want to create something a little bit nicer and so if you want to have one door off your master bedroom that goes into your your master bath and your closet then my suggestion would be to create a small vestibule area that allows you to then go into your master bath off of off of this area and then into your closet um, in this direction so that you create a little like safety zone I guess it is that you can close this door keep all this stuff um, relatively non clean or kind of out of order and it won't bother you every time that you go into your bathroom here the closets tend to get a little bit messy you know clothes scattered around that kind of stuff so that's just one idea if you've got a vest if you've got some kind of like um, entry vestibule into your into your bedroom you might want to think about how that connects to the experience of entering into your bathroom the other option is to split these and i'm not sure let's see what this says door somewhere on this wall okay so they got like a little idea to have maybe a door here but then they're also flexible to have a door maybe on this wall somewhere that allows you to come in um, in that case you wouldn't need to put any kind of vestibule type of thing on in this area you could have this closet open up directly have the door it's just getting really messy have the door swing in and um, and then you can have your 
your clothes and, and all that stuff hanging there. And then on this other side over here, you could possibly position the door maybe symmetrical over here coming in so that you have a spot for a TV um, or whatever ends up being on this wall here artwork i don't know if you've got a tv in your in your bedroom or not but that's just an idea with that so let's read a little bit more with what's going on down here let's see what you, angela okay so if you're going to do a total remodel this is a question for your architect ditto the rest of the space um, house has been planned and all this left to the bathroom basically figuring out lay and function looks nice i'm stuck on how a nine foot closet could be considered useless Okay, it's actually 13 feet long, but it was only three and a half feet deep. The shelves and hangers, yeah, I would agree. I would really like to see more cohesive plan of what's going on. It's 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 hard to make decisions based on such a small area, um, like the questions about how you come into the master bedroom off the dining. Is there what's what's going on when it says current plumbing? Are these just like was one a toilet was one a, a sink i don't not quite enough information but let's say let's let's run with it let's say you're going to wipe this totally clean and you don't care about the the current plumbing locations and we're going to just start um from scratch here so just to do that let's say um i'm gonna choose a red let's say if we were if we were planning this from scratch one thing i would do is I would create some sort of separation between entering in the master and going into the bedroom, possibly um, adding a, a doorway here so you have to come in and turn into the master. That way you can put a piece of artwork here. You could locate your, your closet door right here on this wall so that when you come in, you know, you've got your your stuff here you've got this big closet area with quite a bit of and actually you could you might be able to turn it a little bit if you if you want to squeeze in here at the give your your husband the small end of the closet i don't know so you don't really need a door connecting both these um, together if you've got this kind of scenario where you go in and out like that so let's look at this a little bit further. We've got this wall here. I'm not sure where your windows are for your master, but let's just say everything is kind of all your windows and all that are around this outside portion. So we've got a little area to enter in, go through the closet, and then you've got, uh, actually you may want to, instead of doing something like that, is you may want to cut your closet back a little bit like this and enter in the master here like this and come in and turn that way and turn that way to your closet so it cuts a little bit of space out of your closet but um, it depends on how you want to enter the master the reason I do I'm saying that is because you want to if you want to pull back this wall so that it's all aligned here then this would be a good place to put a TV um, with a little dresser up underneath or something like that. And then you can have your door into your bathroom right there. So you've got this, this wall with two openings coming into the, into the um, bedroom, going into the closet, going into the, the bathroom. So when you first walk into the bathroom, what is it that you want to see? You don't want to see the toilet, obviously. So let's just, Let's just first of all plan on putting the toilet and this is not I don't know the scale of all this I'm just kind of sketching um, based on feel so let's say we let's say we put the toilet there we put the um, a large shower here with a with a seat and this could be glass this wall here so I'll draw that maybe a little bit uh, thinner so you got a glass wall there and then you got a solid wall here for the door and then your your toilet room is back in the corner there so the re the thing that's left is how do you want this space to um, now if you're gonna do like a double vanity you could turn you could have this turn and have 
since you got a seat here, you could have that be a little higher wall right there. And this could turn so you've got a um, his and her with maybe even a, a high section that comes up in the corner that has some uh, pull out drawers or something like that or cabinets or something in the in the corner you could do the same thing here that goes up higher uh, this could be a wall as opposed to a half wall it could be a full wall um, allows that to terminate there so now when you walk in you see you see the the whole bathroom you see some nice cabinetry you see a shower right here in this direction with all glass and then this is back in the in the corner here now if you want to put in a linen closet of some kind there's an opportunity right here possibly um, you could have a small closet there so you you're walking into this into this space through a little tight area and then it opens up to a much larger area so those are just my thoughts and i hope that's helpful like i said it's it's always better to see a more a larger plan because i'm not sure whether this whole thing is possible um, given the relationship to the dining room and and all that but those are my thoughts and hope you find it useful good luck with your renovation and let me know if you have if you have comments or questions that you would like for me to to touch on shoot me the link down in uh, the comment section of YouTube down below and I'll be happy to address whatever question that you post on Hal's. yeah subscribe if you're enjoying the show and leave me a comment and like the video. Do all the things on the YouTube. So, all right, this is it for How's About Thursday, and I will see you guys next week.